Welcome to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to give you a full bedside nursery tour. So I wanted to have a space when we came back from the hospital, in my case with our twins, that we had a dedicated baby area within our bedroom for them to spend the first few months before they fully transitioned into their own nursery. So I'm gonna give you a walkthrough, talk to you about each item, why I selected it, why I was part of the space, and hopefully you'll find some inspiration for your own bedside nursery. If you are new, go ahead and subscribe. I have so many more videos coming your way around motherhood, life with my twin babies, and also lots of home decor. Let's dive right in. All right, so I'm gonna start with the space that the babies sleep. I am using the Juvie 2 Play Yard and I am absolutely in love with it. I opted to do this setup instead of a separate bassinet because babies grow out of bassinets so quickly and this allows them to be able to use this item for so much longer than if they were just to be in a bassinet for six months and then still need one of these later on. So essentially I purchased a separate bassinet insert so you can kind of see at the edge of these like three black um, pieces of fabric, it's holding up and they attach on the side. And most play yards I've seen have an option like this. So obviously if you don't want this one, if you don't need a double setup, you can um, also do the same with a single, single smaller play yard. But to me, this made so much more sense. It also has wheels in the back. And actually in the initial days, this entire bassinet play yard was on the side of my bed. So it was a much closer, granted, there was only like a teeny tiny walkway for me. Um, I made it work, but that way I was close enough to the babies. I could like hear them breathe. Like it was um, <laughs> a little much, but in my opinion, it was necessary for me to be that close to them. So essentially it's like a dock -a tot It's just a fraction of the price on Amazon. And so it has like these foam sides and really the babies can be very snug inside. Now what I did and a tip I would highly recommend is inside you put a diaper cover liner that is waterproof. And then on the outside, you put a bassinet sheet. I got these from Ikea, a set of two for like 10 bucks, if that. So it's really inexpensive. So I know you're like, well, I don't wanna buy an extra thing, but I promise you this saves big time because if they have a blowout, if they spit up, whatever, it's so easy to wash versus having them spit up or have a blowout on this piece, which could potentially soak down through to the foam insert. And then it's just a nightmare to clean. As they got older, I used this divider insert and removed entirely this cushion. And then they would just sleep on this flat white sheet below. And they did that for a few weeks. And then they started trying to like reach over to one another or reach under because it just zips on the side. So technically like if you see this toy, it's kind of under it. Um, so eventually I just removed it once they were able to have really good neck strength and hold up their heads well and basically reposition themselves and roll, get comfortable. So they sleep really well that way. So next to the bassinet, I have a container from Target. I think this was like 10, 12 bucks. It was not expensive at all. And in the very early days, essentially I wanted everything for baby I could possibly need in the room with me because though they have a separate nursery, I wanted to reduce the amount of time going back and forth. And so this is a setup that I used and worked for me. So in the top, I just have some of their books. Um, we have way more in their nursery, but I just wanted a few that I could grab and read to them. And this is like a crinkly book. And in the beginning, they recommend a lot of black and white. So I found this on Amazon. And then I also have this Frida Baby night light and diffuser humidifier. And so this is nice because it's like a three in one. And so it takes up less space having one item versus three separate items. Also only needs one outlet versus needing three, three separate outlets too, so. So this is essentially 
diaper zone. So I have the changing pad. Um, this came from a kit by Pampers in the hospital. Water wipes, diapers, brush. And then I have, if you have a boy, you may recognize these, but these PPTPs and you just put it there so you don't get sprayed on. And then I have some pacifiers that are ready to go. I have essential oils for the diffuser, some lotion, and also some diaper rash cream. I have a bigger one, I just don't know where it is. And then in the second drawer, I have burp cloths, swaddles, baby blankets, and then these are basically the sleepers. They're, they're in these most of the time when they first come from the hospital. It is essentially like a little shirt at the top with sleeves, it has these cuffs, which are such a game changer um, so that they don't scratch themselves. And it's open at the bottom. So it is a breeze for diaper changes. So this is basically what they wear when they come from the hospital um, for those initial few weeks. So I have a few of those that are easily accessible. And then the bottom, I just have a bunch of spare diapers. Off to the side, I have the baby monitor. And so this is just kind of like the zone I use to charge everything. You can see it's kind of behind the curtain, but um, I can easily position these. Sometimes I'll put it like on the table to get a better angle. And um, I'll take this monitor with me where I need to go. I like this set, it's by Motorola, but this set allows for two separate cameras, one, two, and then you can split them and put them in different rooms. It's also good for me because I wanna be able to position one on each baby. So that is the setup. Um, I did initially have a diaper pail in here because again, I wanted to be able to do everything in this space. They just exclusively sleep in here. We don't really do diaper changes in this room. So we move the diaper pail to the changing table. The other thing I want to mention is we do have a very dusty white noise machine. We have the newer version in their nursery, which is really neat because it has different settings and different types of sounds. But this is just like the basic like flip on, flip off. The other thing I would highly recommend is getting a fan. Now I have a tower fan. This is just something we've already had in the house. Because we don't have a ceiling fan, I put it in here and Babies are like little heaters, and especially when you're nursing and having them close to you all the time. So having a way to cool down is really important. The next to the bed is a drawer that I dedicated for stuff just for me, mama. So I have all of these disposable breast pads. Um, some of the Up and Up brand, some of the Nuke, Nuke brand. And they were okay, but I did find that sometimes they were a little itchy. So I actually preferred a different kind. These are um, bamboo bees, I think they're called. And they are made out of bamboo. And they're so, like literally they are so soft. And you just wash these in the wash machine with all of your other clothing. So it's really easy. And then they come in a pack with different colors. They also have like a nighttime version, which is a little thicker. So I found these to be way more comfortable. Um, I also have a extra um, disposable um, underwear and I was able to get quite a few from the hospital. So I never ended up really using this one, but uh, this is a must have, like you need these. Um, it is definitely a must have. I also have a trash bag just in case we use these in the diaper pail. I've used these for a number of things, so that was good to have. Extra pair of socks to make sure I'm comfortable. I also have, um, this is like a generic brand of wireless headphones, but these have been a lifesaver. I think I picked these up from like Marshalls, but um, there are occasions where I'm like nursing and I just don't want you know, the music or maybe it's a podcast or an audiobook that I'm listening to, I don't want it to disturb the baby. So having a way that I can listen hands-free is a game changer. These are um, like breast warmers. So inside it's like this gel beads that you put in the microwave and then this helps um, kind of increase your milk supply when you are ready to nurse. So those are 
they're ready to go. And then I just have some wipes just in case I need to do a quick cleanup for myself. And then I already talked about these. Back here, I have some coconut oil, I have some breast shields, um, some nipple cream. And then back here, I have some of my medication. This is some hand sanitizer. It's like a little more gentle. So since I would be like probably immediately touching the baby, I wanted something that's a lot more gentle. And then I have some Tums tissue. This is some gas relief. I have some lip balm and I also have some Advil. And then in this front section, I have the Frida Baby Snot Sucker. I have their nail filer and also their nail clipper. This is a different file. And then I also have here is the filters that you need for the snot sucker. I have back here is the belly binder that I get in the hospital after my C-section. Um, I only use it for the first few days and then I stored it there just in case I needed it later. So I wanted a drawer that was quick grab for anything mama needs. So definitely important to have this because I'm spending a lot of time here. And so to have everything like really accessible and easy to get to is important. So I try to keep the top of my nightstand as clear as possible just because there's so many random things that you're going to want to place on here at times. But what I will say is please protect your furniture because I did not do that. And I have, if you if focus is here, I have some scrapes to the finish and I must have spilled something and not known it. It probably was in the middle of the night. <sighs> and so don't be like me, put something down, a towel, Put, like you can even do like a really thin cutting board like a plastic cutting board um, if this is an area that you're going to be putting like a bunch of bottles and just liquids and such I also have my water bottle because you want to make sure you're staying extremely hydrated so highly recommend that too and then this phone charger is such a game changer first of all it's like 10 feet long and it has a double USB insert. So I actually got this for the hospital. The other thing I would highly recommend, as you can see, my bedding is white. And what I did was one, make sure I have a towel because especially in the coming days, the initial days when you're coming from the hospital, there's still a lot going on with your body. And so to make sure you don't mess up your bedding, I would highly recommend putting a towel down. The other thing is I actually changed my bedding altogether and put a really soft blanket down. It's something that if I needed to lay the baby on the bed, it was very comfortable for them, but it was also easily washable. And it was something that was light. I gave birth in the summer and so I didn't want anything that was too heavy. Um, but then also, you know, if there's spit up or any sort of accident on here, it's easy to clean because this is not my main comforter. I care less about this if it gets ruined. So highly, highly, highly recommend not to use your main comforter, but to get something in addition or swap out so that you are okay if an accident happens. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.